Sharing the gospel, folks. Gospel of Jesus Christ. If you read the gospel track, you'll know whether you're going to heaven or hell. Because the moment you die, it is heaven or hell. M many people throw up the devil's sign and say, oh, I'm going to hell, like it's a great place. Try to hold a lighter under your hand. You can't last for a minute, folks. Make sure you're right with the Lord, folks. The Bible says repent or perish, folks. God loves you so much that he sent his son to die for you. Give your life to Christ. <clears throat> Repentance and faith in the Lord, folks. Repentance and faith in the Lord. But you have to give up your sin and Thank trust you. in Jesus. Thank there you, you go, so miss. Much. There you go. Chris, I miss, I would tell you, though, why are you going in here, though? This is not godly. It's not godly. Sharing the gospel, folks. The Bible says, repent or we will perish. Turn to Jesus Christ in faith. God loves you so much, folks, that he sent his son to die for you. Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God who came to take away the sins of the world. Isn't that amazing? God, Jesus, put, put on skin and bones, came to the world, died on the cross for us, rose again, defeated death, so that you might have forgiveness of sin if you repent and put your faith in him. But you put your faith in men. You put your faith in idols. Chris Brown is your idol. But Christ wants to redeem you. Christ wants to change you. Thank you. You have a day, miss. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. For God did not send his Son in the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. For everyone who believes stands not condemned, but for everyone who does not believe stands condemned already because they have not believed in the name of God's one and only Son. Folks, this is the condemnation, that light has come into the world and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. For everyone practicing evil hates the light and does not come to the light lest their deeds be exposed. But those who do the truth come to the light. Once you realize your sin separates you from God, you'll come to Christ. Once you realize your lies separate you from God, you'll come to Christ. You're porn watching. You're sex outside of marriage. Sending you to hell, you'll come to Christ. But you need to fear God. Because the Bible says the fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord, folks, is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge. So you need to fear God. Because the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge, folks. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. Gospel message, folks. Really good message. Jesus Christ wants to save you. <clears throat> Heaven or hell, the moment you die, folks. Sharing the gospel, folks. Gospel of Jesus. Sharing the gospel. Give your life to Christ. Turn from your sin. Trust in the Lord. Today is the day of salvation. Satan has blinded your eyes, folks. Satan has blinded your eyes. You need to be born again. You need to turn from your sin and give your life to Christ. Give your life to Christ. Give yourself to Christ. Turn from your sin. Turn from your sin. Chris Brown does not care about you, folks. Don't even call yourself a Christian if you're going in here. You are not a Christian. You are not a Christian. You need to repent of your lukewarmness because God says he's going to spew you out of his mouth. 
What if you die tonight, sir? What if you die in there, sir? You stand before God. I really care about you, sir. I really do. I really care about you. Folks, you, sir, you may not get that. I hear you. Some of us know Jesus loves us. Yeah, I know, but you have to repent. Stop the sin. How could you stand in there and hear cursing over and over? Once you're born again, you feel conviction from the Holy Spirit, and you can't continue to listen to that stuff. Amen. Let me get one of them. Well, you need to stop the sin, though. I can't. You have to through Christ. There's so many false Christians. So many false Christians. God's rebuking you, you false Christians. Don't say you know Jesus. You don't know the Lord. Stop your sin and follow Jesus. Christ really rebuked the false Christians. God's going to spew you out of his mouth. The Bible says, not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord. Not everyone who says to me, Thank good you. message, good message. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Many will say unto me that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name? Have we not cast out demons in your name? Have we not done many wonders in your name? And I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you worker of iniquity. So many Christians are going to stand before God in the day of judgment and he's going to say, get away from me, you sinner. You're following a false gospel. If you've been born again, you wouldn't be going in there. You'd be standing here with me preaching. You don't know Christ. You don't know God. Wake up. You're confusing the atheists. You're confusing the atheists. Today, give your life to Christ, folks. The Son of God who came to take away the sins of the world. Sharing the gospel, folks, the good news. There is good news for those who come with a humble heart, for those who are ready to repent of their sin and trust in Jesus, but you have to stop the sin. In order to be forgiven of something in this life, it's common sense. In order to be forgiven, you have to stop the thing that you were doing first. So you need to stop those things that are sending you to hell. And you can do all things through Christ. You can do all things through Christ, through the Son of God. Sharing the gospel, ladies. Gospel of Jesus Christ. Drunkards will not go to God's kingdom. You must be born again. It's not okay. You're not good. You need Jesus Christ. You need to be born again. You won't be good burning on fire for eternity, folks. Why wouldn't you want to go to heaven where the streets are lined with gold? Where there's no more crying, there's no more mourning. There's no more tears, folks. The former things have passed away. Behold, all things become new. All things become new. Once you're born again, folks, Christ frees you from your sin life. He gives you a new heart. He transforms you. He puts his Holy Spirit inside of you. Today, give your life to the Lord. Have your day, miss. Have your day. Really good message on there. Sharing the gospel, folks. Gospel of Jesus. Really good message. Really good message. Repent and turn from your sin and give your life to Christ, the Son of God who came to take away the sins of the world. No matter what you've done in your life, sir, you can be forgiven. If you repent and turn from your sin, if you repent and humble yourself, give your life to Christ. But we have to repent. It's not about skin color, folks. It's about sin. It's about sin. We've all sinned and fallen short of God's glory. No matter where you go in this world, we've all sinned. And we all need a Savior that comes through the Lord, the Son of God. So the Bible says in Luke 13, 3 and 13, 5, repent or you will perish. Repentance is a change of mind, a change of heart, and a change of lifestyle. It's a turning from sin and to Christ for forgiveness. You can be forgiven today if you turn to the Lord. Good message on there, miss. Okay. Read it when you get a chance. Oh, I'm sorry. Here's That's another okay. one. Thank Here you. you
Sharing the gospel, folks. Gospel of Jesus, the Son of God who came to take away the sins of the world. Give your life to Christ today. Turn from all known sin. Because the Bible says, repent or you'll perish. Trust in Jesus. Give your life to Christ today. Trust in the Lord today. The Bible says there's a way that seems right to man, but in its end is death, folks. You chase after riches and wealth, but the moment you die, it's heaven or hell. The moment you take your last breath, it's heaven or hell. Give your life to Christ today. Turn from your sin today. God loves you so much that he sent his son to die for you. Sharing the gospel, folks. Gospel of Jesus Christ. Give your life to Christ today. Repentance and faith in the Lord. Really good message on the back, folks. You'll know whether you're going to heaven or hell if you read one. Heaven or hell, the moment you die, the moment you take your last breath, it is judgment day. It is judgment time. Make sure you're right with God. Give up all known sin and trust in Jesus Christ. Repentance and faith in the Lord. Amen. God bless you. Sharing the gospel, folks. Gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Hurry up. Get in the concert. Keep going. Hurry up. Follow after your sin. Get in line on your way to hell. But Christ wants to redeem you, folks. You'll run to the concert. But what about Christ? What about Jesus? He came to redeem you from your sin. He came, have a good day, sir. He came to free you from your sin. The Son of God who came to take away the sins of the world. There's forgiveness and mercy for you, miss, through the Lord Jesus Christ, but you have to repent. No matter what you've done in your life, there's forgiveness for you. Forgiveness and mercy. I can't cross too far over, sir. No All right, have a good day, sir. Have a good day, sir. Sharing the gospel, folks. Gospel of Jesus Christ. Really good message in the back. Give your life to Jesus. The Bible says repent or you will perish. God does not want you to get to hell, folks. He does not want you to go to hell. There's good news and there's mercy for the humble in heart. Good news and mercy for the humble in heart. For those who are ready to repent and turn from their sin. Sharing the gospel, folks. Gospel of Jesus Christ. Forgiveness and mercy today. Through the Lord, forgiveness and mercy today through, through the Son of God who came to take away the sins of the world. Whatever sin you've committed, there is mercy and forgiveness. Good message on there, sir. Have a good day. This is where I come to preach, where the sinners are. Amen. God bless. Sharing a good message, sir. Good message. There you go, sir. Have a good day. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Today, give your life to Christ. Turn from your sin. Hey, Trust up, in the Lord. Man? What's up, man? You look big. Dude, I haven't seen you, you in a long huge. time. Wow. What's up with you? Nothing, man. Nothing you God's word. I'm born yeah. again. Here, will you read that for me? All right. All right. Hey, so, like what you, so what you been up to? Just working. Yeah, just working. Saying, right. Huh? Just working. Yeah, just working. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. What are you, about 230 now, 240? Nah, about 225. Wow, man. Yeah. Hey, read that when you get a chance, Joe. Have a good day. Sharing the gospel, folks. Gospel of Jesus. There's salvation today through the Lord. Salvation today through Christ. If you're ready to repent and turn from your sin, we all need forgiveness, even the security guards, whoever you are. We all need mercy and forgiveness through the Lord. Jesus Christ came to redeem you from your sin. He wants to free you from your tobacco. He wants to free you from your drugs, from all your addictions. You have to be ready to lay it down. You have to be ready to come to Christ humbly. Come broken over your sin. Your sin separates you from the Holy God. Folks, it's a harsh message. Yes, it convicts you. You either want to lash out, cry out, or you want to repent. Why do you think the apostles were crucified? Why do you think Jesus was crucified? God wants to get to your heart. You've sinned against the Holy God. It's time for you to stop the sin. If you're having sex outside of marriage, you're on your way to hell. Folks, it's that serious. 
That's God's word. 1 Corinthians 6, 9, 10 says, Do you not know the unrighteous folks will not inherit God's kingdom? It says, Do not be deceived. Don't be deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, folks, nor homosexuals, nor sodomites, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers will inherit God's kingdom. So God's crying out to you. He wants you to come to a knowledge of the truth that your sin separates you from him. Today, folks, give your life to Christ, the Son of God who came to take away the sins of the world. No matter what you've done, there's mercy and forgiveness. No matter what you've done, you can be redeemed through Christ. If you are ready to humble yourself and give your life to Christ, turn from your sin, no matter what you've done. Did you have the gospel, miss? Sharing the gospel, miss? Gospel of Jesus? Sharing the gospel, folks, the good news. The good news that you can be saved from your sin, that you can turn from your sin through the power of Christ through the Son of God who came to take away the sins of the world. Whatever you've done in your life, Christ can free you. You're bound by your addictions. Every day you stand in line for your cigarettes. Every day you stand in line for your drugs, your drugs, your, your alcohol. But Christ wants to change you. Christ wants to redeem you. He wants to give you a new heart, new thoughts and new desires. That comes through repentance and faith. The Bible says in Proverbs 28, 13, he who covers his sin shall not prosper, but whosoever confesses and forsakes his sin shall have mercy. There is mercy and forgiveness today for those who are humble. But we have to lay down our sin. Lay down our sin and turn to Christ. No matter what you've done, there's mercy and forgiveness, guys. You're blinded by the God of this world, folks. Satan, he's blinded your eyes. He's blinded your eyes. If you say you're a Christian, if you say you're born again, you'd be standing here with me preaching God's word. Maybe you're a lukewarm Christian. When's the last time you have obeyed God's word? When's the last time you've looked at God's word and actually obeyed God's word? God's going to spew the lukewarm Christians out of his mouth. Maybe you went to church one time and said a prayer. That doesn't redeem you. You need to repent and turn from all known sin and trust in the Lord. Today is the day of salvation, folks. We need Jesus, the Son of God, who came to take away the sins of the world. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him, have a good day, sir. Thank you, sir. That whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. You can have everlasting life if you're ready to lay down your pride. Lay down your pride. Come to God as knowing nothing and say, Lord, I've sinned against you. My lust, my porn watching, my smoking, my drug addictions, my sex outside of marriage, they're all sins against you. And they're sending me to hell. And if you know you're on your way to hell, what do you do? You fear God. Because the Bible says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge, folks. The fear of the Lord, folks, is a fountain of life to turn one away from the snares of death. By mercy and truth, iniquity is purged. And by the fear of the Lord, men depart from evil. Hurry up, get in line. Hurry up. You might miss the concert. This man does not care about you. Chris Brown does not care about you, folks. He wants your money. 
But Christ loves you. God loves you so much that he died on a cross for you. Are you ready to repent? Thank you. God bless you. Blind leading the blind, folks. The blind leading the blind, folks. Blind leading the blind. There's redemption through the Lord. There's redemption, redemption from your sin. How many lies have you told this week? Do you even know? How many times have you taken God's name in vain? Your sin separates you from the Lord. Your sin separates you from a holy God. Just saying a prayer at church does not save you. Maybe you say, oh, I've been water baptized. Yeah, but if you're headed in line to this concert, you just came up a wet sinner, folks. You just came up a wet sinner. It's time to repent. It's time to make sure you're right with the Lord. Because today is the day of salvation. Today, turn from your sin and give your life to the Lord. God's trying to get your attention. He's reaching out his hand through a servant. But you say, not today. Not today, I love my sin. Not today. I'm with you, brother, but not today. You're not with me, sir. You're not with me, sir. But if you repent and turn to Christ, if you repent of your drunkenness, if you repent of your sin, Christ can change you, sir. Oh, no, I'm not saying you, sir. I'm just saying anybody in general. The good news is today, the good news is there's mercy and grace for the humble in heart. That is the good news. There is mercy and grace for those who are ready to lay down their sin, for those who are ready to turn to the Lord Jesus Christ in faith. Today is the day of salvation, folks. The times of ignorance God winked at, but now he commands us. He commands us to repent because he has appointed a day in which he will judge the world in righteousness by that man he hath ordained giving assurance unto all men by raising him from the dead Christ wants to change you miss if you read a gospel tract folks it will let you know whether you're right with God share the gospel sir Today is the day of salvation, folks. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. For God did not send his Son in the world to condemn the world. Have a good day, miss. Really good message on there. Sharing the gospel, folks. Gospel of Jesus Christ. There is mercy and forgiveness. Are you born again, sir? We've got to be born again. Repentance and faith in the Lord will save you from hell. Repentance and faith in Christ will save you from condemnation. Because the moment you die, you don't just go to the grave, folks. It is judgment day. It's judgment time the moment you die. Heaven or hell. Yes, folks, God judges. There's a whole book in the Bible called Judges. On Judgment Day, God will throw the sinners into hell. But if you would but repent, if you would turn from your sin and trust in the Lord, you can be saved. The Bible says, enter by the straight gate. For wide is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction. And there are many that go in by it. But narrow is the gate and difficult is the way that leads to life, folks. And there are few who find it. Which line are you in tonight? Which line are you in tonight? Are you in the line that leads to hell? Or you want to go to heaven? Do you want to repent and turn from your sin? Or do you want to trust in Jesus?
sharing the gospel, folks, gospel of Jesus. The moment we die, it is heaven or hell. You make that choice. You have free will. Give your life to Christ. Have a good day, sir. Repentance and faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who came to take away the sins of the world. No matter what you've done in your life, there's mercy and forgiveness. No matter what you've done in your life, if you would but repent, you can be forgiven. Are you ready to trust in Jesus? Are you ready to give your life to the Lord, the Son of God? King David in the Bible. King David had a man murdered. He slept with his son's wife. Mercy and forgiveness, folks, through the Lord Jesus Christ. If you would but repent and turn from your sin and give your life to the Lord, trust in Jesus today. The Bible says, therefore submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. The Bible says, cleanse your hands, you sinners. Purify your hearts, you double-minded. The Bible says, lament and mourn and weep. Turn your laughter to mourning and your joy to sorrow. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord, and he'll lift you up. He'll lift you up. But you got to do your part. Up, How you doing, sir? How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Not that big of a showing for Chris Brown. He must be getting old. Chris Brown's not going to redeem you, folks. Chris Brown's not going to help you on the day of judgment. But Jesus Christ loves you. Jesus Christ loves you. Not if you continue in your sin, though. Not if you continue in your sin. The Bible says, therefore, lay aside all filthiness and overflow of wickedness, folks, and receive with meekness the implanted word, which is able to save your souls. How are, yes, you do. There's redemption through Christ. The moment you die, heaven or hell. The moment you die, heaven or hell, miss. And God's going to show you this day if you don't repent. The wicked hold hand in hand, and they'll both follow into a ditch. The wicked go hand in hand and they both fall into a ditch. There's no redemption through Allah. There is no redemption through Buddha. Only Christ can redeem you. Only Christ rose from the grave. 1 Corinthians 15, 3 through 4. I told you the most important part of the message. Exactly as it was told to me. Christ died for our sins, as the scriptures say. He was dead, he was buried, and he rose again on the third day, as the scriptures say. The Bible says, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, and you will be saved. Sharing the gospel, folks. There is forgiveness and mercy today, folks. Forgiveness and mercy if you're ready to lay down your sin, if you're ready to cry to God and say, God, forgive me, I've lied against you. I've looked with lust. I've had sex outside of marriage. God wants to forgive you of your sins, ladies. But you have to do your part. You have to repent. I'm not a Catholic. Catholics are on their way to hell. They need to repent. They believe in a false Christ. They love Mary more. But if you repent and turn to Jesus, if you repent and give your life to Christ, you can be changed. There is mercy and forgiveness today for those who are ready to humble themselves. Are you ready to humble yourself? Well, then you need to not go into this concert. No, what if you die in the concert? God will send you straight to hell, miss. Repent and turn from your sin and get right with the Lord. How can you call yourself a Christian, folks? But you hear these curse words over and over, and look at this wickedness. The conviction of the Holy Spirit should come upon you. 
and you should say no to sin. If you've been born again, once you feel that conviction from the Holy Spirit, you'll turn from those things. The Bible says, blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly. Don't get counsel from the ungodly when you have a preacher telling you to turn from your sin. The Bible says there's a way that seems right to man, but in its end is death, sir. What's that core of that even matter the moment we die? We need Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who came to take away the sins of the world. You love the things of the world more than you love Christ. You worship the creature rather than the creator. Give your life to Christ, ladies. Today is the day of salvation. God wants to make you into a new creation, but you have to stop the sin and give your life to the Lord. If you look with lust, you're committing adultery in your heart. That's a sin against God. How many times do you undress people with your eyes? That's a sin against God. And we need forgiveness and mercy. Forgiveness and mercy through the Lord. You need to repent. Stop the sin. There's good news today, folks, through the Lord Jesus Christ. Mercy and forgiveness for those who come humbly broken over their sin. For those who are ready to lay down their life and follow after Christ. Who are ready to take up their cross and call this world nothing because it's passing away. Folks, this world is passing away. We live in a time where good is bad and bad is good. Men can go into women's bathrooms. The world has gone mad. The world has gone mad. You need Jesus. You need to repent, turn from your sin, and give your life to Christ. Become a new creation. Don't be a hypocrite Christian. Don't be a lukewarm Christian. Raising your hand to Chris Brown when you should be raising your hand to Jesus. Who do you serve? Do you serve the Lord or do you serve other gods? It's time for you to truly repent and get right with Christ and stop riding the fence because Satan runs the fence. Get right with the Lord today. Trust in Jesus today. Sharing the gospel, sir. Sharing the gospel. Heaven or hell when we die. God loves you so much that he sent his own son to die for you. The Bible says the preaching of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, folks. But to us, baptized. that doesn't mean you're going to heaven, though, sir. You got to repent and just put your faith in Jesus. Okay? Don't, don't follow after Mary. Only Jesus Christ. Give up the Catholic Church. Read your Bible and obey it. So many people are deceived. So many people are deceived. They follow false religion. They say, well, I'm a Catholic. That means nothing. They say, well, I'm a Baptist. That means nothing. You need to repent, stop the sin, and follow Jesus and obey him. That's how you know you're born again. That's how you know you're born again. Sharing the gospel, ladies. Sharing the gospel. Sharing the gospel, folks. Good message on the back. Really good message. Let you know whether you're going to heaven or hell. I'm going to heaven. Not if you're going in here, you're not. You need to repent. Repent and turn from your sin. Someone who's on fire for the Lord wouldn't be going in here. The Bible says, repent or perish. The Bible says he's going to spew the lukewarm out of his mouth. How does it feel when you take a, a drink of lukewarm water? You spit it out. And that's what God's going to do with the lukewarm Christians. He's going to spit them out. You need to make sure you're right with the Lord. You need some holy fire preaching. Because these churches, just because there's a cross and it says church, doesn't mean God's in it. It doesn't mean God's in there. Sharing the gospel, folks. Gospel of Jesus Christ. Repentance and faith in the Lord. So many people walk by, 
and say, no, thank you, not today. I don't want to go to heaven today. Maybe once I get out of the concert, I want to go to heaven. What if you die in the concert? What if you die in the concert? You could choke on some food. What if you die of a heart attack and you stand before the Lord? Heaven or hell, when you die, it's judgment time. And you're going to be crying to God like a little sissy. But God wants to redeem you. God wants to change you. God wants to make you new. How many plaques do you have on your wall saying, look at all the degrees I have. I'm so great. But the moment you die, if you're not born again, God's going to say, depart from me, you work of iniquity. Money's not going to save you. Your prestige isn't going to save you on the day of judgment. Everybody will be judged the same. Just because you have a tie on and lots of money, you'll be judged just like the homeless man. Unless you repent, you will perish. It's a hard message. It's a hard message. But if it wasn't a hard message, the apostles wouldn't have been killed. Christ wouldn't have been crucified. Today, turn from your sin and trust in Jesus, the Son of God. Know that God loves you and he sent his son to die for you. Give your life to Christ today. While you still have time, folks, 150 to 160,000 people die every day on the earth. Most of them thought they had tomorrow. They stood before God and it was judgment time. Heaven or hell. Put your faith in the Lord. Put your faith in Christ. And you can be saved.